Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Christmas memories. Morning. Seeing my new Christmassy slippers. Morning, Willow. Morning, socks. Morning. What are you doing? Here she is. Here he is. Lovely in the morning, aren't you? Hey, lots of leg rubs and morningness, and we've got the Mickey uh, Merry Christmas rug. A uh, mat which Willow loves to sit on. Here she comes. Oh, you breakfast. Ready for breakfast? Here Good we go. Good morning. You can hear the cats in the background. It is the first day of Vlogmas. Tuesday the 1st of December. Um, I can't believe it's December already. This year has just gone so quick. Currently it's about half seven. I've just about to start work so I've popped down. Rich and I take it in turns to do um, wake up with Willow and socks every morning. So breakfast get them all happy and upstairs. Um, I love my coffee in the morning now, so I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee. You may recall the mug cupboard, <laughs> if you've watched previous Vlogmases. So the Disney mugs are out, and this morning, I'm gonna use the new Starbucks mug we've got, but I'm gonna need one of these to like dispense it from the coffee machine, so I'm gonna use the Edna Mode one, which is just so funny. We've got one of these color changing Starbucks mugs that turn red when you put hot in them. So we haven't really used them yet. We've been saving them for December. Uh, they're £2.50, um, but we're gonna give it a try in a minute. So we're still using, and I've just wiped it, we're still using our Dolce Gusto machine uh, from Nescafe, which we love. And we've got the seasonal toffee nut lattes, and you can buy these on the Nescafe Dolce Gusto website, £3.99 each. Or if you buy four, it's free postage as well. So let's get coffee going. time to pour the coffee into the mug and hopefully it will change colour. I'm going to try and set the camera up because I'm not confident pouring and filming. Here we go. So this should magically change colour now, I hope, if I can pour it correctly. Oh, wasted a little bit. There it goes. It's red. I did spill some, so that's not good. So tomorrow I might use a jug for this. I need all the coffee in the morning. I need all the coffee. <laughs> So I'm really chuffed with this. For £2.50, we just literally added them to our click and collect order last week. Um, it's so cool, so red and so green and so festive. And then we've recently, this year, we've really migrated to Aldi for shopping or Aldi, Aldi, however you say it. But these are absolutely, they're quite new um, and they're so nice. They're, they're comparable to the, um, I can't remember the other brand, but they do them. And these ones are much cheaper and you don't notice the difference. So I'm gonna have one of these and this one's almost like Nutella. So Rich's cup is there already. He will be down a bit later because he's not an early coffee person like me. He's more of a mid-morning coffee person. Willow has found her way onto our bed. Are you lovely? Good girl. We'll sleep now. So found socks. Hello. You have a little sleep now. <laughs> so he's got no paws today. I love when they tuck them in. You tucked your paws in. All right, I'm gonna leave you to sleep now, okay? Hey everyone, me again. So I'm at my desk. So Rich and I, for the most part, working from home. Rich is like permanently working from home till the end of January, I wanna say. And I'm on and off. But we've kind of set up a little office because things change. So I'm up here, look at the Christmas tree. <laughs> so I tried to make a festive backdrop. So I'm, I'm effectively sitting at my desk now and that's the backdrop I have and it all lights up, which I'll show you later, which is just fun and festive and everyone's trying to make the most of it. Good morning, happy 1st of December. And once again, I haven't beaten Luke downstairs this morning. I am not a morning person at all. So I don't know if Luke mentioned, but I'm kind of like a mid-morning coffee, hot chocolate type of person. It takes me a little while to, to get into the swing of things. Um, but I've been logged on for work this morning since about eight o'clock. So 
Um, it's already very busy and it's now, I don't even know what time it is now. It's like 10 o'clock I think. It is 10 to 10. So it's time for a drink. So one of the things I'm absolutely terrible for is buying things and not using it all up. So I kind of like see something new, buy it, use half of it and then want to move on to something else. I'm absolutely terrible for it and it drives Luke absolutely mad. So during Vlogmas I'm going to make every effort to start using up things I've already started. And a good way to start is with a hot drink. This is exactly what I mean. So I bought this Nesquik. So this is for our Dolce Gusto machine. Um, I saw this Nesquik. I think it was on Amazon. Um, and it was one of those moments where I was like, I must buy that. And I did start them. In all honesty, I did start them. But I've got a little way to go. And the other thing I bought was Maltesers. So I've got a few of these Maltesers capsules to use up. So I'm definitely going to use those up and then move on to finish off the Nesquik, which is really nice. If you haven't tried the Nesquik before, this is um, childhood memories. I used to drink Nesquik as a child all the time, um, but haven't done in a long time. Um, <laughs> say no more. And so, yeah, these are a nice um, childhood fix. Um, they're really good. And the Maltesers, uh, they're quite nice too. I wouldn't say they're overly Malteser-ish, um, but they do the job. So I think this morning I'm going to have one of these Malteser capsules. And I'm pretty sure Luke's probably had his um, Starbucks reusable cup this morning as well. But this changes colour and it is awesome. We bought this over the weekend. I think it was £2.50. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I'm sure Luke's already showed you this as well, but um, I'm going to use mine as well this morning. Okay, here we go. So I've just, um, in the Dolce Gusto machine, I just did it in one of these plastic uh, Mickey cups. Um, it doesn't make a lot, that's the only thing. So I think some of the other capsules, because you have two, it makes more um, volume. But um, yeah, with only one capsule from Maltesers, it's only a little drink, but it will do. Um, we've got to do our best not to spill anything. There we go, and you can see it's changing colour, very festive, I love it, and it's only £2.50, bargain. So over Vlogmas we're probably going to be showing you quite a few things that are our favourites, so we have some like go-to items that we definitely pick up, and one of the things that we're a little bit obsessed with at the moment is elbow grease. Um, so um, this isn't new by the way, I'm sure a lot of you have used and seen this before, but um, we are going through a phase of elbow grease at the moment. So Luke actually found this glass cleaner which I used the other day which was um, amazing. So no smears, it was really easy um, to use. Uh, we've got one of these scrubbing pads as well that I'm going to open today. And as you can see this one um, is finished pretty much. There's a little bit left in there. We have got a new one out um, in the living room. Um, but yeah, this this stuff is just amazing. Um, I think we got the majority of this on Amazon, but I know you can pick it up from like Home Bargains, B and M, um, and maybe in the main supermarkets like Sainsbury's, Tesco's. Um, but yeah, we just want to just wanted to mention this because I was doing a little bit of cleaning up in the kitchen just now, and I thought, yeah, I'll mention this because we're we're loving this right now. He's hungry for lunch now. Are you ready, Zogs? See if you cry. Everyone. Hello, it's lunchtime, <laughs> we're together. <laughs> oh. It's the first time we've actually been together pretty much all morning. Yeah, it's nice. How's your morning been? Busy. Can I just say one thing? We were just talking about us on the call at work. It is so nice to be able to wear slippers at work. <laughs> yeah. And then your comfies. We were just literally showing off all of our like pajamas and <laughs> oh, you join your calls well that's our productive day showing off our pajamas <laughs> anyway how's your day i know i showed off my um reindeer ones this morning on the on the, the bit of the camera when the cat's around me <laughs> um i've been on calls uh, training all morning literally it was a call that started at about half nine and ran until like half 12 and there was no like bathroom break in it and it was like with um some of our team in europe so like they obviously all work different ways, but it was like everyone at the end of the call was like we're all busting for the loo. <laughs> yeah, like, bye. Trying to sneak now. away bye. from the call, but <laughs> yeah. So it's been a busy morning. Yeah. It's weird because we both shut ourselves in our individual rooms and sometimes get to say hi. Some days we have gaps and don't. So and the cats sometimes are so desperate for our attention, but we're like, I'm sorry, we can't. <laughs> so um, yeah, we've got a little lunch break now. Um, 
Sometimes, most of the time we get to tie up lunch breaks. Most of the time. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. So have a sandwich, get the cats some food, and then I'll have a little nap this afternoon. Yeah. And I can't wait to open advent calendars tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got to put the chocolates in. We bought some nice green and black chocolates for the musical one, and I haven't actually put them in yet. I'm meant to do that. I know. So yeah. there's some there's some like white chocolate, dark chocolate, and milk chocolate. So obviously when it scores a dark day, I'm lucky. You're lucky. You when it's like uh, a white chocolate. <laughs> You That's like my it. one, yeah. So yeah, it's all good. So, quick sandwich, I think. Yeah. And then um, tonight we're gonna have Mexican Mexican fajitas. Mexican. Yeah, I'm gonna have chicken, I think. But you're not gonna have chicken because no. you're more veggie. You're not strictly like, vegetarian. But more veggie. So I have like yeah. mushrooms and peppers, onions. We're tending to um, the highlight of the day is planning dinner. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, but you know, it's nice and sunny today, and um, we have to show everyone frosty. Yeah, later on, when it, when it gets dark, we'll show you what we've got in the garden. Yeah, because sure. we forgot yeah. to show you, we put some Christmas um, lights outside this year and frosty, so. Bits, yeah. yeah, cool. See you guys later. Okay, so it's lunchtime, so the cats will be super pleased. So, on the odd occasion, they do get a little bit of a treat. So, normally they have. Um, what do they normally have? Like. Sheba, Sheba or, Lily's or Lily's Kitchen. But sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they'll get a little bit of my lunch. So, today I'm going to have some honey roast ham slices. Um, from Audi, Audi, Audi. Um, I said the same thing. <laughs> so how do you know? Some people say Audi, some people say Audi. Um, some Nord Pack, which is basically Lur Pack. <laughs> um, and these are their like cute little uh, plates that they have. So sometimes they have a little bit of smoked salmon, or in this case, a little bit of uh, ham. So in a minute, we're going to hear major meowing going on. I'm just making a little potato salad. Luke's just doing a potato salad. We had, new, we had new potatoes last night, but there was too many, so I'm just going to put a little bit of mayo on them. Yeah. And then have a little bit of potato salad. Mm -hmm. So, just finished work, and as promised, I wanted to show you my little tree setup when it's dark. I'm just turn the light out, hold on a sec. There we go. It's cool. <laughs> oh, it's gone really dark. So, yeah, that's the little tree setup, and everyone at work comments on it because I had the tree lights on, it's so nice. Uh, I've got socks down here who is super, super wanting. You hungry? He's super purring and ready for his dinner. Um, these are the chocolates that I've got to put in the uh, Fauna Mason advent calendar. So I've got them ready, green and blacks. There's 25 in here. So I'm gonna put one in each day and we're gonna share it. Um, all different flavors from dark milk and chocolate. Almond, hazelnut, toffee. So we'll let you know each day as we go. So I'm gonna go down and put those in now. And then I think we're going to cook some Mexican. A happy kitty <laughs> is having a cuddle. I thought I'd show her the Christmas lights today. How have you been, Willow? She has been yapping. Like, <laughs> she is super hungry, super needy. Yeah, yeah. See, that, that's what it's all about. <laughs> and there's a little close-up of the tree. I, don't, I think it makes it look like the lights are flashing. But look at this little cool desk accessory. From Primark. Primark. <laughs> and then we just got a random plant here. But yeah, it's now time for Willow and Socks to have their dinner. What are you having? You having tuna? You tuna? Yeah. You're having tuna. Lovely. <laughs> Sheba. It's lovely. So the kitty cupboard <laughs> is open. Literally, this is what I do. So I have normally have Willow in my arms. And I bring a Sheba down and I let her just sniff it. She does a little head bump. Um, and then down here is where they have their, their dinner. Well, they don't have the dinner on the side, but I make their dinner on the side. Yeah. It's a little cat's area. Yeah. Right, time for dinner. So this is where I have to hope that all the chocolates actually fit. So I'm gonna go with this one and just, and we get to hear the music. <sighs> Here we go. Perfect, it fits. So I'm now gonna randomly put these all in. So Rich won't know which ones are which, and I'll probably have forgotten by the time. Should we have one more song? Oh, Christmas tree. All right. More of that. Thing. All done. That was the perfect amount. So it's just this one bigger bar that's left, which we'll have, which is dark chocolate, which Rich doesn't like, but he will get extra on the white one. Yay! It's the end of the day. So tired. <laughs> is it Tuesday? Yes, yeah, Tuesday. Know. The days are blurring into each day. At the Tuesday moment. the first. Um, dinner time, we're going to do fajitas. Fajitas, and I get to use my sweet baby rays. <laughs> I know traditionally sweet baby rays sauce isn't featured in fajitas, but why not? Yeah, it's not really a Mexican kind of food. Why not? <laughs> Who um, makes the rules on fajitas? <laughs> has anyone else been getting deliveries like every day? So we have 
been doing all yeah. our shopping online. Yeah. And this afternoon, Rich and I were both on calls and someone was knocking at the door. And I messaged Rich and I was like, door, just in case he wasn't on a call. And, you were, and you were like, I'm on a call. I'm like, I'm on a call. <laughs> so it's like, just quickly run on hold and just run down. Because some calls, you can literally just sort of like quickly step away, answer the door. But unfortunately, I think both of our calls were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> not really convenient just to step away. <laughs> but there we go. So yeah, we can do nice fajitas. Um, then this evening, it's advent calendar time. Yeah. I've been thinking about that all day today. I was talking with my colleagues about advent calendars and like how exciting it is still opening the first window. It's always exciting, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we'll show you that. It's still a bit messy in the dining room because we've got all the stuff down from the loft and we've not fully sorted it yet. The dining room table is a bit of a yeah. dumping site. But it wouldn't be Christmas otherwise, would it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, the way um, it is. <laughs> and it's quiz time shortly. So here's the ingredients for tonight. We use the Aldi um, fajita kit. Rich doesn't have the seasoning. He'll do his own sweet yeah, baby rays. Sweet baby rays, which you haven't included in the oh, mix no. of ingredients. Come on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some chicken for Rich, mushrooms. We've got some peppers and some salad. And then I tend to add some Mexican rice. You don't really like that one. No, so I end up just, because I got the chicken, it kind of bogs it out a little bit. So I'll be fine with that rice. Yeah, so here we go. So this one is a new addition we haven't mentioned yet, but the Velvetizer. When did we get this? October? I it should be dramatic. The Velvetizer. The Velvetizer. <laughs> <laughs> From Hotel Chocolat. <laughs> so, it has to be done in a certain way, doesn't it? Yeah, we've had this probably since October time, November maybe? Yeah, I got Come it for my birthday money actually. You did? Mm. So this is definitely going to feature in the vlogs because it does amazing. And it's also really good for warming up milk for your coffees as well. Chicken is going, the vegetables are all done. We've got all the different plates set up and ready. Now the vegetables. Yeah, so you get the seasoning, we've got the salsa and we've got the tortillas. So it's all set, ready to go. Cooking away nicely, that's my one with the Mexican spice. And Rich's chicken is gonna have barbecue sauce added. <laughs> I spilled a little bit. There you go, he's adding the magical touch. Get it on there. <laughs> Loves the barbecue sauce. Oh yes, honey barbecue sauce. Ah, we have chicken, we have, oh that's chicken. We have mushrooms, rice, and then we've got our fajitas. Time to go. So I've literally been sat looking at the tree and I'm thinking to myself, what is missing off this tree? I feel like there is something missing and it was really bothering me. And it just occurred to me that we have forgotten, or I have forgotten, to put the candy canes on the tree. That's just so shameful. So a little while ago, we did a little shopping spree on a company called American Fizz. Now we're missing America so much, so now and again we treat ourselves to a little bit of a um, shopping spree uh, for American candy, and Luke found these Swedish fish candy canes, and I can't even remember how much these were, but they are so worth it. I absolutely love Swedish fish. Um, I'm not sure how popular they are in general, Swedish fish, but I like them. Um, so we got those ones, um, and also, we got the Sweet Tarts candy canes as well. So we will definitely have to get these on the tree because it adds some colour. Uh, although our tree is pretty colourful to be fair. But I think these will just make the tree pop even more. So definitely can't wait to get these candy canes on. Also, I don't know if we mentioned yesterday in our first Vlogmas of this year. But we have this really cute Mickey um, Christmas wreath that we... We should really put it on the front door, but I think it looks it looks quite nice in the living room and we just kind of just attach it to the handle here, uh, which leads out into the back garden. Um, but yeah, this is a new addition, I would say. Um, but yeah, we just love it and we thought it would go great in the hey living room. Hello. So we had a nice dinner. We're now going to head on to Advent time. So we're going to open up the Fortnum and Mason one. And the main thing here is the music. So what's today's uh, number one is there. And the song is... Oh, I really want to hum over it. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine you were there. If only. Right, Rich is going to grab the chocolate. What did we get? What did we get? You, can you remember which ones you put in here? No. So today's chocolate is, I haven't got my glasses on, uh, dark chocolate with crunchy toffee. Hey, there we go. 
Good evening. Good evening. So Vlogmas day one. <laughs> First of December. It's been really nice actually. Yeah. And by the way, I'm a little bit higher today because I realised in yesterday's vlog I was like really low <laughs> down. So I'm actually sitting on a pillow. We've just got a booster seat. <laughs> uh. um, we were just um, we we're just saying how like working from home makes Vlogmas so much easier. Yeah. Because there's no like commute time and all our breaks and lunches are at home. So we can like hop down, make a cup of coffee together. We can have lunch together and then like we finish work and we're here so it, there is a lot of benefits to that. Rather than filming on our phones like on our lunch break and stuff it's all on one camera so that's nice as well. <laughs> so we're gonna have a look at some advent calendars and Rich has also um, got some comments from today's uh, vlog that we uploaded. Yeah which... just want to say like seeing the comments come through oh. today has been so nice. Obviously we've been working during the day but we've been seeing them pop up and we've been reading through them today and so yeah like Luke says I've got screenshotted some comments that I'd like to read out um, and I'm going to try and do that every day because it's really yeah. nice. And thank you so much everyone yeah. it's, been, it's been like we've, we've been like away for a while but it's been nice. It's so nice seeing all the comments yeah. So we're not going to uh, open all the admin calendars on here because we don't want to ruin it in case you've got the same one <laughs> but we both got a chocolate one each. Yeah. Do you want to show your one first? Okay. The lid one! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so yours was slightly damaged though by Ocado, wasn't it? Was. it? <laughs> if I turn it round, you will see there's quite, quite a see. big. Like there, it's like a yeah, massive, massive big... dent. So this is um, home delivered, so obviously something's heavy is weighed on it. But, but it's, it's still fine. edible. The chocolate is fine, it's still edible, and that's the main thing. <laughs> and you know there's a big Father Christmas in there. Oh yeah, there's a big Father Christmas in there, yeah, yeah. so you can see all the, the variations in there. And this year I went for Reese's. Buttercups. Which I can guarantee I will not be like peanut butter. Pinching those because I just don't eat peanut butter and chocolate. They do dark, original, and white. So that's cool. So excited for that. They'll be safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, last year, if you watched our um, Vlogmas, we had um, different advent calendars. I had a candle one, and I've seen some comments today that made me laugh because people yeah. were like, oh, it was 2643, <laughs> like, because the candles didn't say which one they were. There isn't a candle one this year. Um, no. Rich had his tea one last year. Yep. And you've upgraded yourself this year. I have. I've splurged a little because we've not gone on holiday. So, like, <laughs> let's splurge on the Advent calendar. Fortnum and Mason's tea. Yay. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the really nice Fortnum one. Yeah. And throughout the year, we've been joking to ourselves, like, um, in the last Advent calendar we had, we had quite a few... Echinacea, is that? <laughs> I think Echinacea. <that's> Echinacea. <laughs> but it's really nice. Um, so it opens up, it's got lots of, is that teapots there? I haven't actually opened it yet. Yeah, it's little teapots and, and saucers and spoons and, and um, a leaf, is it a leaf? A leaf? Maybe it's tea. Oh, it smells. It smells really nice. Smell it. Tea. it says on the back, 24 silky bags. Hey. Not just any bags, they're silky bags. So let's see what today's one is. So let's find out it's what flavour. Okay, so Hopefully there's no echinacea. I am terrible at finding the windows. Normally before we do this, I say to Rich, can you just find the window? It's like <laughs> it we'll takes too so long. <laughs> I was like that as a kid though. It was absolutely terrible trying to find the right... Okay, so on the window it says... Oh, if I just turn it around. Christmas black tea. I like black tea. Yeah. And like Luke says, I can smell it straight away. Like, mm. it's really powerful. So they come in... Oh, they're like literally no packaging. No just packaging. Just a loose tea bag. Just a loose tea bag, which is absolutely fine. <laughs> Ready for brewing? Ready for brewing. So tonight I'll be having that as my tea. Which one is it? Do you need to um, Yeah, I have got my glasses. Rich hasn't got his glasses on. Oh, wow, that's really small. Is it Christmas? It must be Christmas black tea. Because it says it on the window. Yeah, it just says Christmas. So yeah, Christmas black tea. And Which if we um, read the back, it tells you on there the There will be... Can you read that? <laughs> oh, basically, I know I keep mentioning glasses, but earlier this year, I was told that um, I need to wear my glasses more often. Um, evidently, that is true. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, um... This Christmas black tea is a combination of black tea with cocoa nibs, zesty clementine and bold Christmas spices. That actually sounds quite nice. It does. And you know what, I'm determined to keep up with the tea this year because I fell behind last year, so. Yeah, and this, and this year as well, I decided to get a tea one as well. And I've gone for the Pucker Days of Christmas tea, which actually comes like in this really cool, like long, I'm gonna try and do it the whole way up. Dun, 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 dun. 
So it's got all the tea bags like there, so you kind of can just hang it and then you see them all at once. There's no there's no great surprises with my tea. That's the first thing I said when you opened it up. I was like, well, where, there's no windows to it. You're going to no know. no surprise. <laughs> so number one today is a called Phil New. And it's a clean fusion of aniseed, fennel and cardamom. Nice. So, Are you not sure about that aniseed. <laughs> aniseed, <laughs> like aniseed. Was like, I'm so glad that's coming out of your calendar because I would not drink that. There's a three licorice one as well. Yeah. So that's cool. So let us know down below which advent calendars you've got this year. Yes. I feel like advent calendars have become massive and people tend to have like three, four advent calendars now. I feel like, yeah, I feel like in the last like two or three years it's just been such a booming market of advent calendars. And if you got the last year we had the English Tea Company one which was the little square boxes. We did see that one again this year and we would have bought it again but you wanted yeah. to try something I else. I wanted to try something else and Fortnum and Mason are just amazing for tea so... And I'm going to spoil myself a little bit, why not? In the sale for Primark, you remember we usually have the little Primark advent calendar where you get the decorations out. There, in the sale there was one, so we got one in the sale in January I think it was. So we've already done this before so it's not a surprise. But we get to do it again. We get to do it again. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> I get to do it again, yeah, knock him out. Uh, so number one is, and these are cute and you can oh, obviously reuse cool. them every time. It's a really cool little, like, I'd say like an Elsa colour. Elsa blue. We're going to go with frozen blue. That's what we're going to go with. Yeah, there yeah. we go. So that's going to go. We've got a little tiny tree in the kitchen that we'll put this on. Yeah, but we'll as you saw that. in our tree, we, are, we actually use them in our main tree as well. Because I just think it adds something nice to it. Yeah. And are you ready for the Disney quiz? I think, like, that's what everyone's waiting for, really. Yeah, I'm literally ready for this. Yeah, so we, we have taken out, if you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, the first one, um, we have taken out all the old um, questions from last year. We're, we're getting organised now. <laughs> I can't take any ownership. This is completely Rich's project. You've done it last year. So I, I'm joining you guys, and this is the first time I'll have heard the questions. And <laughs> you I don't, don't even know. know. I'm yeah, going to Google them, though. It's like my own little mini project that I do, and it's, it's quite nice. I'm ready to Google. You're Googling it. No, no cheating. I'm not going to say what it is. Well, no what's the question? Okay, right. everyone. The, the game is que comment below. Yeah. And then tomorrow, Rich will obviously look at the answers and uh, read out some of the winners. Yeah, in case you obviously didn't catch last year's Vlogmas. <laughs> um, I feel like a drum roll. Mm. <laughs> I'll just do a drum roll on my own. <laughs> um, okay, the question is, in Hercules, what are the names of Hades' two minions? Mm -hmm. So in Hercules, what are the names of Hades' two minions? And I'm... I'm absolutely sure we didn't have this question last year, so... Um, oh yeah, I know this one. Don't, don't do what <laughs> Luke has just Google. done. Do not do that. Um, well, have fun with it, but yeah. I'll I say won't we, hold it against you. We haven't um, watched Hercules in a long time. We should do that on Disney+. Yeah. Plus. That's why I chose the question, because we haven't watched it in a while. We need to watch it. Yeah, so answer will be revealed tomorrow. Yeah. And it's Tuesday night, so normally we would, we would be waiting to watch... Um, Great British Bake Off. I don't know if anyone else watched that, but it was a really good season this year. It was really good, yeah. We enjoyed it. So we were actually, we've actually decided to go back and watch older seasons. So on, I think Netflix has got them and Channel 4. They're like on demand service. We're going to go back and watch. We started last night mm -hmm. watching the 2017 we, series. We went back to them and we were pretty sure like we don't remember this one. We must have missed it. Yeah, yeah. which is the first year with Prue and Noel Fielding. So yeah. Back. And it's nice to see like Amer so there's quite a lot of Americans that like the series as well. So um, I think it's called something else there. Yeah, I think they did their own version. Not but, Great um, British Bake Off. I think it's Great British Bake Something. Something. If you know let the answer, know. let us know whether we're on the right track or not. Um, but also the uh, advent calendar here is I love the design. You've got all the different characters on there. Um, and this was from Shop Disney. Shop Disney or Disney Store or Disney Store. I don't know if it's still on sale because we got it a couple of years ago now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it. Okay, and then Rich is going to get a couple of questions up from YouTube. So as we said before, we've been going through the comments today, so I thought it'd be nice just to read out some, and we'll try and do that um, every day. Um, so I want to start with uh, this one made me laugh, and I think this is the one that you saw. Um, Denise Deckard. I pronounced your surname right. Um, so sad there won't be a candle advent calendar this year. <laughs> I felt number 3214 really brought the spirit of Christmas. And I, <laughs> that made me laugh so that. much. Love that. Yeah. We might have to think about that for next year. Um, Jenny H. Wow, so sweet to ask us how we are doing. Of course. I met you guys at Disneyland Anaheim. I remember. We remember. In Tomorrowland. Yep, near Star Wars. And you guys are just fantastic. Hope you guys are doing well. 
can be oh, hi right. Jenny uh, Debbie Sullivan yay hi from New Zealand wow um, hello hope you're well I hope um, you're enjoying summer or <laughs> yeah. like late spring um, so good to see you too so looking forward to vlogmas your decorations look awesome take care oh, thank you lovely. so much um, and then we also have a comment from Erica um, as soon as I heard the music, my mood immediately lifted. Aww. And we, we do hear that a lot about the opening song. So we're really pleased that so many of you like that song because it, it now means a lot to us as well. I'm so thankful for your Vlogmas videos. I work in retail pharmacy and it's been incredibly tough. Um, I can absolutely imagine. Um, thank you for doing Vlogmas and bringing us all some festive joy. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much, you so guys. Much. We've also had a few emails through as well. We had a lovely, um, I won't show you them because they're obviously private email addresses, but Jennifer sent us a picture of her lovely Christmas tree, which is just gorgeous. Really nice, like Christmas tree goals. Really nice. Yep. Um, also, Becky um, sent us a picture of her Christmas tree and it's got all Disney baubles on it, which is so cute. Um, we will read more of these out tomorrow. Um, Emma, her Christmas house is so festive. Yeah. And she's got Mickey and Minnie at the top of the tree. Honestly, the, seeing these photos, like, we need to up our game because these are amazing. And Catherine, um, I'm just reading this comment here, um, made this lovely cake. Um, which is, I'm sending you a picture of the Christmas cake and they look so good. So thank you so much. And obviously we'll go through, there's more emails for tomorrow, so we'll definitely read out some more. Yes. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. Hope you're feeling festive. Oh, also... There's snow on the forecast for Friday at the moment. Is it, it keeps changing from snow to rain, so I'm not 50, really sure. 50% chance of snow. Has it gone, it's gone back to snow. Uh, we were saying, like, of all the years, this would be the best year to snow because most people are like going to be at home anyway and no one's really going anywhere. You're not going to have like travel disruption, so let's have loads of snow and yep. go for nice snowy walks. Everyone's working from home if they can. and Yeah, yeah where they can. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, brilliant. That's the end of Vlogmas Day 1. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories